If you want to get your company to the top of Google searches, then trust Hot Click Marketing. I trust them, and they're sponsoring me for the entire season. So this is the much talked about away end at Old Trafford. A uh, smaller allocation than it would have been for a cup tie normally, but there'll still be a lot of vociferous City fans in there tonight. Let's see what the mood ahead of this derby, it's a two-leg tie of course in the Carabao Cup is, and see whether the Blues fans who have managed to get a ticket tonight in the City end are feeling. City going to win 3-1. What makes you so confident? Uh, I don't know, I just like stirred up front. I think he's pretty fast and don't like Phil Jones. I think he could um, cause him problems. Do you think Phil Jones being selected is a good move for City? Yeah, I don't, I, well, if you've seen how he plays, he scores own goals all the time. He's slow, he can't do anything. Pretty confident, then. Yeah. 2-1 to us. I think the lineup is a bit different, but still up front, I think we'll get the job done. It's a two-leg tie. Does that make any difference, do you think? I think they can come out of ground and hurt us, but I think to get the job done tonight, we'll hold on and we'll get to the final again. What are you thinking about the fact that City fans have got less tickets tonight? I think it's a disgrace. A disgrace because obviously there'll be the city fans saying they'll get tickets in the home end and GMP complaining. So why didn't they just give us the seven thousand dollar allocation like they said they would? So, Are you in the away end? I am in the away end tonight. Yeah. Do you know anybody that's, that's done that then? Or? No, but I've seen it all over social media, all over Twitter. So. You worried there might be a bit of trouble tonight? Yeah, I think there might be a bit of trouble. People keep getting kicked out because last season when I was at the Liverpool match where we won two one. There's a lot of City fans who are Liverpool fans who jumped up in our end and they got booted out straight away. So I think they should just give it. Manchester as well, it allows people who wouldn't usually get tickets to the Derby to get a ticket as well. So it's a good opportunity. Well, fingers crossed there's no trouble, eh? Yeah. A bit confident, but I, I'm, not, I'm not thinking that any a, a result tonight, any result, a 1 0 loss, a draw, or a win will be good for us because we've got to be afraid of their pace. They've got a good team, they're a good young, got a good set of players, but we should be able to do it. We've got another another game to go. Should be able to get through the tie over two legs. I'm pretty confident. Both teams are both te yeah, we've got to. I think in this this day and age you've got to I think both teams know it's a a move up for the younger players. They've all got they're gonna give uh, give them lads a chance, see what they can do. It's obviously on the tally. It's more important to show what these lads can do in front of the supporters. And I think both teams are looking for a, for a good result tonight. Should be noisy with the City fans tonight. Well, hopefully, yeah, because there's all 3,000 of us. <laughs> and there's, uh, one, two, there's five of us here, and look how noisy this lot are. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, this lot. Like, like, we did in 1974 when we relegated them. <laughs> you go that far back. You go that far back. all go 90s for the first first year 1968 and first year City 1967 when Bill Fox scored old goal make it one out. Wow. Yeah, yes. Mystery, then. Oh yes, it have done, yeah. That Tell me about it. Days, it. When we used to, yeah, when you because I can remember that far back when we used to see Dennis Law and Bobby Charlton, George Vessel, George Vessel get the ball and you'd think, oh God, they're going to score. Paul, Bert, Roy Paul, yeah, well, a bit before my time, that one. But yeah, those were the days, those were great days. But you come here and we didn't get anything. Now we come here and we're confident. That's the difference. We're coming here as the top team in Manchester, basically. So we've got to prove that we're still that. And that is what we're going to do tonight. Do you want your team? 2-1, 2-1 two for City. I like the formation, I'm slightly worried about Bravo in goal, but he, he, he's sticking with him, he's sticking with him, so fair play to the manager. What's been the big talking point among City fans ahead of this one? Um, why are we not top of the league? <laughs> why is it? Oh, I think we're just too many mistakes this year, too many mistakes this year. Look, we'll be back again. We win, win three cups this year, we'll be very happy. You're still smiling though, aren't you? <laughs> oh yeah, at my age, <laughs> everything I've been through. Same as you. I think in a, a narrow away win for City. Um, I, I hope they can. Uh, a bit disappointed Aguero's not uh, playing from the start, or Jesus. But I'm still hoping that they can turn them over. And I think we're by far the better side. So hopefully we should win. Yeah. They were surprised that Bill Jones is starting. Yeah, I'm a bit surprised. I'm quite pretty happy he is starting, to be honest. But I, I'm just disappointed not to see Aguero because he's got a great record at Old Trafford. It's a two-leg tie, though, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's a two-leg tie. I came to the last one in 1970. 2-1 uh, for City at Main Road. 
and two all at Old Trafford and uh, a great night it was, one to remember. I'll, be, I'll take that, yeah. Two all will be alright. Uh, I reckon City will uh, a nice 2-1 win today. I think Pep may learn from the last time we played United. They're a bit more defensive for uh, their counter-attacking football. Yes! May help City today. Yes! Hopefully we can uh, counter-attack them. Sterling up front. Yes! They can run at their defensive, especially yes! Phil Jones, try and get past him. Maybe get a few fouls against him, three kicks with the Diner. So hopefully, yeah. It was great. We uh, we got three past them. Uh, they're not very good when we get them on the break, but no, it's great. To be oh, fair, I the think wheels, it could have though. been more than three. It could have been way more than three. If Sterling wasn't man marked the whole time, he would have been great. But I'm surprised you've got any voice left because you're in front of me and you never stop singing, have you? I've been told by people that happens. Sod. How many was City going to get in this? I want two more in the second half at least. It'd be great. Yeah. I was a bit worried the first 10 minutes, thought they might be cutting through us a bit, but as soon as we got goal, they're, they're awful, aren't they? I mean, that was one of the easiest 45 minutes I've ever seen here, and I've been coming here for 40 years. What did you just say to me then? What was when was the last time City were 3 0 up at Old Trafford at half time? I can't remember it, and I'm 26. I mean, that is a very easy first start. It should have been 4 or 5, wouldn't it? should have been 4 or 5. Sterling's had a couple of good chances. A couple of offsides, which were marginal. Could have scored. I just hope we keep going, because we don't want them to get a couple back before the second leg. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? Well, it might do. You never know. I saw City at home what, last month, wasn't it? We lost. It can happen. This is different, though, isn't it? They're all over. Well, they are, but one quick goal for them, and you never know. So, let's keep going forward and get 5 up. Then we can play the kids. We can play Tommy Doyle in the next leg. Come on, Tommy! Good. Uh, Pity Sterling couldn't finish as well. We could have been 6 0 up. Uh, midfield's been great. Even the Fernandinho at the back, completely solid. Can't ask for anything else. This first half's going derby, so you don't get much better than that, does it? Well, no, it'd have been better if Sterling had got one of his, but I'm happy with 3 0. I'd have been happy with two. First half. Uh, second half was very sloppy. You'd set 3 1 before the game and 
Let's go on to the final now. Let's do this big time at the Etihad. Is it try over? No, not over, but we're on our way though, aren't we? Second half, so it's up half off the gas, but can't, can't grumble at 3-1 Old Trafford, so... Oh, very much! Thank you for the great result. Should have finished off in the first half, but take that back home. Wembley's on the cards, hopefully. Come on, sit up. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. You never know. Should put herself in a good position there. Come on, Blues. I thought there were two or three individuals who were brilliant in our performance. I know it's unfair to single them out, but I thought Fernandinho was brilliant. Bernardo Silva, fantastic again. Great first half performance. The nice fans here, of course, all around me singing. Well, they deserve it, don't they? Great win. Same leg still to come, though. It's not over yet. But that's a big step in the right direction for City. And a great night here at Old Trafford. See you again at Aston Villa. A big thank you to the RRG Group for their sponsorship of the Match Day Vlog throughout the season. So if you're looking for a new car or a used car and you want to deal with somebody you can trust, then I can certainly recommend the RRG Group. Thanks very much guys, thanks for your support.